be a bit of a goal, goal threat as well with his height and his uh, pace, his movement to push forward. So that's that's good good uh, decision there. See how he goes as well. Roman did perform well at centre half alongside George Heaven the last two games very well in the the opening game against Club Ramblers as well. As we were saying, midfield is his natural position as he puts uh, the uh, Athlone Town number 14, James Doon, under a bit of pressure there. But Athlone Town looking to attack, and it's Doona again who gets past Stephen Beattie. Stephen Beattie trying to get back in. Doona looking up, looking for options inside the box. He's got Adam Whitstead looking up, and he goes back to his left back, Derek Daly. And it's Dan McKenna now looking for uh, an Athlone Town head, but it's uh, cleared, half cleared by Cork City. And it's with Derek Daly again. Duna on this left-hand side, looks up, has a chance to put the ball into the box, right-footed, that's far, it's too far for uh, Curtis Byrne who keeps it in, and that's a chance, a big, big chance there for Athlone Town as uh, Adam Wickstead's shot is saved by Mark McNulty, and a uh, good save by Mark McNulty there from... Uh, second leg didn't happen, Dan, we, we won't mention that. Say it was just finished too well, the first leg. Long throw into the city very box, good. but a very good header there from uh, Killian Camp will just take the sting out of him Dylan McGlade's shots is uh, always rising it's always over the bar and Schlingerman will take the goal kick I think great start uh, to the 2021 first division campaign ball is played in in the direction of uh, Dylan Ham, but that's over the bar and uh, Mark McNulty will happily see that go over as he takes the goal kick following his footsteps he tidies that up and uh, it's now with uh, Coleman there's the guard Morrissey, who's fouled there, surely, by Curtis Byrne, but the, the referee's not interested. He's in. And Cork City are in now. It's Alec Byrne. He's got an option. What does he do? He plays it to Dylan McLean, plays it to Walsh. He gets the shot in, and that's just past the post. That was a fantastic attack from Cork City. Puts the, the one arm up. So he takes his left footed. Plays it short to Duna. Which they gets it back. Plays it back into the box, and that's in the direction of uh, Killian Cantwell, who gets ahead on it. The Athlone Town players calling for another call. Free in love with the throw in on this near side, looking for an option. And uh, he finds it in Dan McKenna. But now Cork City have a chance to counter. It's uh, Coleman with three players uh, to his right. And a uh, little bit of a nudge there from uh, Dan McKenna. And it's uh, Braggery who's in here. He's uh, beaten the man for pace. And he takes the shot and it's uh, well saved by Stringerman. And that will go for a Cork City corner. And what a counter-attack that was from Cork City, Dan. Oh, be, be, be a bit more support to Jack, hopefully, as well. Kim Murphy, the former City 17s and 19s player, and made seven league appearances last year. But now a lot of work to do for Cork City here, and it is the opening goal for the Athlone, for Athlone Town, James Doona. When he's getting getting on to flick-ons and second balls now, he's, he's looked really good. McGlade's corner kick here, the one arm goes up, and that's a good corner kick, it's in the direction of uh, Coleman. Is that Jack Walsh, was it? Jack Walsh, yeah, with the header just over the bar. Oh. That was a chance. <laughs> now Cork City would throw in. Can they make something happen here? Hurley needs an option. He needs it. He's got one short here in Coleman and he takes it. Coleman looks up. What does he have in front of him? There will be four minutes. Four time. minutes to be added on at the end of this game. We are inside the final four minutes of this game. As Coleman gets a header on. Schlingerman takes it. Goes to the ground. Taking this thing out of it again. Vastly yeah. experienced, this Schlingerman.